members of, of I Like. El Goddamn. So I didn't know about the seeing Marvin doing that. Then I go on YouTube and I saw how Marvin was in rehearsal, laying on the yeah. couch, singing "I Want You." I'm like, you sure. Wow. You know, I got to tell you, that's uh, for me having done that. That's not easy. It's not easy to sing like that. It's, I think your wind and your diaphragm it goes somewhere else, and you have to really. If you if you want to test yourself and see if you if you still got it, yeah. do that. Lay on the floor and sing. <laughs> you know, just lay on your back. Lay that way in that direction on anything, man. Right, right. It, it'll let you know if you if you if you're authentic or not. <laughs> you can't do it. I don't think auto tune can fix that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't. Not at all. I mean, I don't think I've seen anybody. Do that other hearing about you, Marvin, and I mean I saw Mr. Uh, Reverend Al Green and he sat down and sang and he sounded great. You know? He sounded he sounded great. So he is great. He yeah. Is great. Yeah, he did such an incredible job. See, I knew that story. I was like, I want to ask him about that, because I that quick interview was right when that record came out. I don't know what that album was, Balance or Options or something like that. So I was like, I Oh, uh, it was before Balance of Options. Okay. Balance of Options, that's the one my brother James saw. Oh, okay. Rhythm and, rhythm, rhythmalism. Right. That's where a Hand in Hand came out, right? Exactly. Okay. That's the one the Hand in Hand was on. Oh, okay. Got you. Got the right. same album. Right. Yes, sir. Um, when you was on the uh, Luther tour, because I went to that, you have like, and I got a story about that one. <laughs> <laughs> when you was on the Luther tour, was there any memorable moment that sticks in your head? Because I know you got a million of them. And every time I ask an artist, they're like, oh, man, uh, can you pick one or just a memorable moment being on the road that that you're just like, wow, that, that was pretty incredible. Hmm, let me pick one. Um, let's see. Well, let me see. Um, other than uh, how many times we got find for being on stage late. <laughs> I mean, when Luther was, uh, he was he was like a, a father brother figure to us. He took us in right away and taught us the ropes, but he didn't he didn't do it easy. He didn't make it easy on us. Um, he told us he said you can't be on stage late. You got to be there on time. And we was like one minute late getting on stage on time, and we got docked seven thousand dollars one minute late. So then we decided to uh, make up for it and get off stage late. So we just, we don't make up for it, which was the wrong thing to do. Right. So we stayed on stage too long as well. Another $7,000. <laughs> but it, but it was, he was trying to teach us a lesson and we still didn't really learn it because when we got Radio City Music Hall, we were on stage late there. And everybody knows you don't do that. Nah. We were on stage late there and we got $30,000. You know what I'm <laughs> hey, that's like, that's like NBA fines. What's wrong? God, 30,000. Yeah, we were like, ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> but you know, you wanted, wanted a funny story. Oh, you just said memorable. I think that's what oh, that's funny. Tell me, go ahead. Go ahead. We got a couple minutes. If you be looking at that 30 minutes, oh, go ahead. tell me a funny story. I got to hear this one. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, the first time this happened, this happened many times after this first time, too. But uh, my brother Marty, I was on stage um, singing uh, Time Reveal. Okay. And I felt this wind behind me, you know, all around. You know how you could just feel somebody in back of you? You say, I feel like somebody's staring at me, right? You turn around and you, and you see everybody going like this, looking away. You say, I knew somebody was staring at me. You could just feel it, right? Scratch, check this out. I felt something, man, but the thousands and thousands of people in the in the uh, theater, still, I said, somebody's like, so I turned around and looked while I was on stage performing, and my brother Marty's doing cartwheels, kicking his legs up in the air. I mean, he's like doing karate stuff <laughs> with a microphone in his hand, turning flips. He's real athletic, man. He's like, he's one of the best athletes in our family. Well, I was like, I looked at him, I said, are you and it wasn't the fast one, it was time to reveal. <laughs> and then I looked at James, Bunny, and Randy. They were back there, they had this embarrassed look on the face. They were seeing background, but they were like this here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just went with her. I said, What can I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 
pulled up. I'm just picturing it right now. <laughs> Picture that, right? <laughs> Cartwheels and time we reveal. I like, hey, it couldn't have been you wear well or really mother not. No. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And, and, and people in the front row, you could tell they had seen it, but they were just trying to look past it because the looks on their face was like, mm-hmm. I was like, okay. <laughs> trying to- For the rest of the show, I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait till this is over with. <laughs> um, were, you, were you pretty, uh, I mean, you know, every time I perform with DJ, there's always some kind of butterflies. How was it, you know, doing the Motown? Was that the Motown 25 coming out with everybody? Was that was that a little uh, nerve wracking or? No, no, not really. It was. Um, well, it may have been, but by that time I was so used to that. That's what I thought. <laughs> I couldn't tell. That's what I, thought. I couldn't tell. But it was it was great to be around all the icons. You know, um, the Four Tops, Diana Ross, Marvin Gaye. Jimmy Walker and the All Stars. Yeah. You know the Jacksons. Everybody, man, it was there. It was just, it was just great. That energy was incredible. That was in that building. I mean, we could have shook the world's foundation. Oh yeah. On that night, that energy that was in there from everybody. Wow. Um, Amazing. Yeah, that was incredible. I mean, I've seen it over and over and over. I, I can't. It's just. There's just something about it. you haven't seen the Motown 25. You need, you need to go check that out. Uh, um, another question. So, when when your first album came out, I always I was always wanted to ask you this. When the first album was the the Barges, at What's Your Name, Share My World, Queen of My Heart. So, what Bobby at the end of Queen of My Heart? I always thought it was you for a hot minute, right? That Bobby getting that. that <laughs> was me. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, because I heard you say. No, it wasn't me. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Like, wait a minute, because I know, hey, it's hard to tell sometimes if you're not in it, you know? <laughs> so um, why did the tracks get redone on the time we reveal, the queen of my heart and share my work? Why did you carry them over? Well, Motown had this this deadline thing that they were, uh, I, I would say, obsessed with. Okay. <laughs> because, uh, I mean, on budget, meet the deadline, and they were so serious about that. Well, people's albums were getting canceled because it wasn't finished on time. And that's all I needed was for uh, the time, the special way album to be canceled. So, but it wasn't finished. We needed two more songs. Um, because that was also another thing that they insisted, that you have enough tracks, you know, at least eight, you know. Um, So um, that's what I did. I said, okay, let me see if I can save this. (laughs) And bro, because we didn't have enough time. What I'm saying is we didn't have enough time to actually go back in the studio and record fresh songs from the start, and the budget was running out too. So I said, okay, let me just grab two songs from a prior album. Because, you know, that album didn't really sell that well. The first album, it wasn't, it, later on it did, once we got known. So I didn't think anybody would notice <laughs> if I borrowed songs from that. So that's what that's that's what the purpose was. Nobody noticed but Jay Scratch, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a few others, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, hell, you know, yeah, I noticed, I was just, they, they're going to know now. We just told on us. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I get that. I remember when uh, the first single was coming out and stuff. I, was that more like a, a the record company not pushing it? Because I thought that What's Your Name was, was nice. Um, it, was, it was more so, uh, yeah, well, I think they didn't know what to do. See, our sound was very different. It was very different. And they wanted to know what to do with our sound and where to target it, but actually the first album, it helped us to figure that out. And I, we were very fortunate that they stuck with us anyway after the first album was not a hit because a lot of people get dropped after that happens. Okay. So, um, but Barry Gordy believed in us and he said, no, we're not going to drop them. We, they, they, got a, they got a sound. We just have to figure it out. So they did. We didn't figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I enjoyed that album. Nice and warm and everything. But the tracks that were on uh, Done Over and stuff, they just found it fuller. I didn't really notice a big difference. They just had a different uh, atmosphere. <laughs> track. 
No. So. All right. Quit, quit telling on me, Scratch. All right. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's all, it's all, it's all love over here. Um, I know. Uh, one more thing, because we, I know we on the thirty minute mark, and we got our mamas. So. Yeah, I got to see mama. Okay, so. Um, what was that album you did with Babyface? That was the Heart and Mind, right? Yeah, Heart, Mind, and Soul. Okay. Yeah. And then it was 20 years later, you came out with Second Chance, came back like a goat, no problem. You got a Grammy off of that. Some, right? I saw you perform that at the Grammys, am I correct? Second Chance. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you want to know when the next album's coming out, though. Yeah, well, I'm going to ask you that, too. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Was there, when you had them 25 years and just came back, like, you, you know, you just sitting there going, you know, I remember someone Prince said, and this reminded me when you came out with that album. Uh, they had asked Prince, you know, um, you know, how come sometimes you have hits, top 40, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do? And Prince said, you know what? I make hits when I want to make hits. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, so here you come. Well, snap. Here you come, 25 years. You come out with Second Chance. Incredible album. That, that was what, 2010, your BET Awards. Thing. I must play that a hundred times because it was just incredible comeback so you know god bless you on that one that was phenomenal i always compare the second chance album as like a maturity album for you like it was a growth album like prince's um sign of the time when prince came out with the door yeah when prince came out with the door to me that was prince like a mature point for me i was like oh he, he done grown or i don't know how to put it you feel Second Chance is kind of that album? Yeah, I feel like Second Chance is that and also the setup for, I think the best is yet to come still. Uh, I got a lot of love, a lot of life in me, uh, a lot of music in me. Um, I stay in the studio. I have a lot of songs. Um, I got something coming at, at you soon, too. Really, really, really soon. Sooner than, uh, sooner than I can think. <laughs> that soon. But... Um, yeah, second chance was that was that, and it's just, like I said, the setup for for all of this. I was so fortunate, man, and I'm I'm forever grateful that the fans embraced me like they did. I can't say that enough. When I when I came up with the second chance um, CD, and they, they just embraced me and have been ever since. You know, and I, I gotta to all my fans out there, I love you. You know that. Yes. But I just want to say it at the end. And I love you and we support you and we, we all about you know good things sure. so, um, we're going to be looking out for that probably uh, uh, West. I always see you in the Midwest doing things you ever going to come out to Cali and do some shows man you meet me no no no, 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 no. no I'm, I'm in Cali I'm in Cali okay but you're going to okay you're going to do shows out here yeah I'm going to do some shows out here I've got some scheduled well actually everything's been postponed so I got to I can't say it yet because of the COVID thing. Yeah. So I had something with Kelly. We're okay. gonna have to reschedule them. Let's okay. put it that way. Well, we yeah. no. sure, man. This is my this is my joint, LA. I love LA. I know. Yeah, I know you do. I mean, I see you out, but I ain't going up to people. What's up, L? You don't know me. I'm like, oh, he, he personal life. Let him hey. I said one. Hey, day. Put it this way: if if there if 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 anything ever happens to LA, uh, no sense of even living on Earth, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I feel about LA. <laughs> you know, I've been around. I've been, I've been around the world, but not like you. And there is nothing like LA. Maybe by Miami, but there ain't nothing like LA. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, I know why you said Miami. You. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Miami would be the next thing to be to LA. It's like it's like Vegas. If Vegas has sand, that's how Miami is. <laughs> Uh, all right well we're gonna be looking out for that next album thank you man I know, uh, for taking your time out I, is this your first instagram interview yeah okay sure. i was gonna take pride on that and be like yeah hey, i got the first okay <laughs> I, I was, <laughs> hey we gotta get we gotta get some shout outs man yeah mother's day you yeah know, uh, okay i'm gonna go first um okay go ahead i have some 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 woman in my life uh, that have been like mothers to me. Um, let's see, uh, Pat Perry, uh, Adrian Cryer, okay. Sasha Lisa Cryer, Lisa Brown, Lisa James Brown, um, Tracy Jordan. Uh, let's see, I don't want to leave anybody out. 
Uh, well, I guess I'm going to leave some people. I'll be all day. But these are very, very special women in my life and that have just loved me and cared for me like a mother would. And especially on top of all of that. Well, let me say this first. Um, happy Mother's Day to my baby's mamas, too, for sure. All of there you go. Yeah, don't leave them out. <laughs> Casey, Monique, Sylvia, Melody, right. all of you. Uh, thank you for for going through those months of labor <laughs> and bringing those special children into this world. But most of all, Mama DeBarge, yeah. my queen, my beautiful black queen. Love you, Mama. Happy Mother's Day. And Mama Joe Elkhorn. Love you. So, you know, I'm give my, uh, my mom. That took an hour. All right. I think I just received an award. I was like, okay, thanks. Yeah, I was like, yeah, that, you did that good. I thought you were looking at one of them prompters and stuff on the stage right now. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> all right, yeah. Hey, and also, also, all of the women out there who don't have, who never gave birth, thank you for, for being mothers to all of us in your own special way. Sure. And we, we are your children. You've helped to raise us. You know who you are. Yeah. If I had all your names, I would, I would. Take all the time to say them, but you know who you are. Yeah. Love you for that. We all got, you know, a few of them like that. My grandma, my mom, my aunties, they've all, you know, <laughs> right. supported me. But thank you so much, El. But we're going to catch up again, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Tell thank you, mama. Yeah, tell your mama, say happy Mama's Day. We'll talk soon, El. Thank you. I really appreciate this a lot. Yeah. Okay.